So cupcakes are just appearing out of nowhere um, at a certain at a certain rate, and I've recorded what's happening here. Uh, we've got time in seconds, so however many seconds go by, um, certain numbers of cupcakes are just popping into existence. Uh, Math Ceratops is confused. Uh, Mario B, you know, has no explanation for this, but every, everyone enjoys it because you know they're cupcakes. So um, I want to find out what the constant rate of change is in this function and by doing that I'll kind of show you what what is the constant rate of change mean um, and it's actually all linear relationships have a constant rate of change and that's what makes them linear uh, and that's that's the thing that makes them if, if you graph them on a coordinate plane or something like that it'll, it'll make it into a straight line um, let me let me show you what I mean so a constant rate of change between two quantities you know in this case um, seconds time in seconds and cupcakes or you know you might have x and y if you're looking at a boring math book or something. Um, the constant rate of change between the two quantities in a linear relationship is the rate of change between any of the data points. You know, so you could look at this guy and this guy, or or this guy and this guy. Um, and these rates of change will always be the same, and that's why we call it the constant rate of change. So uh, let's let's find that. So the rate of change simply means um, the change in y over the change in x and this this delta sign just means change so if I were to have um, one y and I have another y and I want to find the change from from one to the other um, I would find the difference so um, in this you know I say x and y and in this case it'll be the the change in cupcakes over the change in time. It's basically the change in your output variable over the change in your input variable um, of the function. So let's find let's find the rate of change here. Um, and let's just pick let's just pick these two points here. So we've got um, and I'll, I'll just make them into um, into ordered pairs here. So we've got one five and th and three fifteen. So the rate of change between these two points is the change in the output variable, cupcakes, or if you want to think of it as, as the y variable, what you'd plot on the y-axis, um, over the change in the input variable or the x-axis um, variable. So uh, I would do um, 5 minus 15 minus 15. Uh, so that's the change in y or the change in cupcakes over 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3. Okay, so 5 minus 15 is negative 10. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And that we would simplify to. So the negatives would cancel out. And 10 over 2, or 10 divided by 2, is 5. So the rate of change there would be 5 um, cupcakes per second and that's 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 pretty good right five cupcakes per sec per second you just have to wait around a little while you have plenty of cupcakes so I'm going I'm to show you that this rate of change here is the same whatever um, um, data points you choose so we could do let's 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 do from here to here okay so we've got three fifteen we've got ten 50. Uh, right, let me make that into something that looks like a 5. A little better. Um, 10, 50. Okay, so the change in cupcakes would be 15 minus 50. And you could do it the other way around. Um, you could go 50 minus 15 over 10 minus 3. Just do it consistently. Just, you know, if you're going to go this way, go this way. Uh, don't do like um, 15 minus 50 and then 10 minus 3. That that would be that would be backwards. So um, in this case, I'm just going to go this way. 15 minus 50 over 3 minus 10 would be the rate of change. Uh, 15 minus 50 is 35. Uh, negative 35, excuse me. And 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Um, I can simplify that reduce that down so um, the negatives would cancel out and 35 divided by 7 would be 5 
um, and it's cupcakes per second. So the change in cupcakes over the change in seconds. So five cupcakes per one second. So again, this is the same, the same rate of change. So the so five cupcakes per second is what we'd call the constant rate of change for this linear function because that's the rate of change between any of the data points and, th and that's what makes this a straight line if you were to you know plot this on a coordinate plane alright enjoy those cupcakes figuratively speaking <laughs>